Hello and welcome to my channel. So in this video I'm going to show you my take on the classic Bridget Bardot inspired look using only budget cosmetics that you can find at your local supermarket and local drugstores. This is one of my favourite looks to do as it's super sexy, it's classic, it never goes out of fashion. So whether you're on a photo shoot or a night on the town or you just want to bring out your inner sex kitten for your very self, this is always a winner. If you've followed any of my modelling over the years, you'll see I've taken lots of inspiration from the Bardo look. I especially love the big smoky eyes that she had in around the 60s, 70s and the big overlined lip. Yeah, it's definitely my cup of tea, my sort of makeup. And just to say, I'm not a makeup artist by any means. In this video, I'm going to show you my take on the Bardo look using these budget cosmetics and I'm going to be making some comments as I go along and seeing how they work out. So yeah, let's get to it. Okay, so I've already prepped my skin off camera. Um, I've moisturized and I've also applied some primer. I've used Maybelline Face Studio Primer, which has evened up my skin tone a little bit. Um, I've also filled in some of my brows and I've applied some lip balm to my lips. So for my foundation, I'm using the Rimmel Lasting Finish 25 Hour in the shade Ivory. I'm applying it with a foundation brush and just applying a small amount to the center of my face and then I'm gonna brush it out and blend it as I go. If using this foundation on a photo shoot, I would sometimes apply a second coat just to give me that extra coverage. Um, I've actually been using this foundation for years now. I really rate it. The coverage is full. The texture on my skin is really good. Um, yeah, the shade's really nice too. And for £8.99, it's definitely worth trying out. Yeah, I think it's one of the best on the market for budget foundations. For my concealer, I'm using Rimmel Hide the Blemish Stick in the shade Ivory. So I literally picked this up at the supermarket last week. I ran out of my usual one and I thought I'm just going to give this a go and see how it works out. It's super cheap, it's like £4 which is amazing um, and I'm sure I've used this in the past um, a long time ago when I was like 12, 14, it does look familiar um, and it is good for blemishes but I need a concealer to hide the dark bits of skin in the corner of my eyes and underneath which it has done a little bit so I would say it's good for blemishes but not so good for under the eye but for four pounds it's definitely worth checking out. I'm using the Delicious palette in Natural and Berry from W7 Makeup UK. I'm on my second one of these palettes now that I've bought and I absolutely love these eyeshadows. I think I paid around £6 for this one. I love the colours, um, especially the dark pinks and the pinky brown shades. I'm also using a palette by Makeup Revolution for some darker brown in the top crease of my eye and I'm just going to blend it out as it goes more smoky. I would recommend this palette. The packaging's really cute and I've also been using the little mirror that it comes with quite a lot recently too. I'm now going to take a darker brown eyeshadow and just blend it around the bottom eyelash line just to smoke it out on each eye. I'm now using the Rimmel Extravagate Liquid Liner in black. I bought this one last week and I've used it many times before. I see it as a classic item to have in your makeup bag. I like the liquid but I'm not too keen on the brush. It just feels a little fiddly in my hands. So I'll paint it on the liner with my own brush and then I'll go back over with less product with the eyeliner one to define. I'm definitely not an expert in putting on liner. As you can see, it's always hit and miss with me trying to keep a steady hand. So I usually go back over and cover up my mistakes. Thank you. 
My mascara is from Rimmel again. I've never used this one before. It's called Extra Super Lash in brown and black. I'm using the one to apply it that it comes with. Top lash first and then onto the bottom lash. It's okay, it's a cheaper mascara. I think if I'd use it again, I'd use it with some of the disposable eyelash ones that you can get, as I wasn't too keen on the brush. But it has defined my lashes and it's not too cakey. But if I'm not using false eyelashes, which I'm not today, I would want a bigger feel to my lashes with a mascara. I'm just going to go over and start cleaning up any drop down from the eyeliner and the eyeshadow. With this look I do have to watch for any dark bits coming down um, so I'll take a q-tip to sort out any bits that I have and then apply a little bit more concealer. So I'm now going to fill in the rest of my eyebrows and I'm using the Ilor Brow Pencil Tamer in Blonde. I'm just going to fill in on each brow and define. So my next budget product is the Tetchik Cosmetics Colour Fix Bronze Palette. I got this from the Body Care Store. Um, it's so cheap, it's like £1.99, so I'm not expecting it to be amazing. The colours are quite heavy and orange, so just be careful how much you put on. At first it, it does look orangey and a bit too much, but if you just blend it out with another brush, it does start to look nice and give definition. I'm applying it just underneath my cheekbones, a little bit on my forehead and a little bit on my jawline, just to define my face and bring out my cheekbones. My blush is by W7 Makeup UK in matte blush shade above pink. Again, it costs like $1.99 and I do prefer this to the bronzer. I have to say I love the colour, I think it's a lot nicer. Um, and again, a little bit does go a long way, so just be careful how much you apply if you use it. Um, I'm applying it to the apples of my cheeks just to give me a little pink flush. My setting powder for this look is Rimmel Stay Matte Transparent Powder. This product is one I use regularly in my kit. I love it, it's light, breathable, and I just need a little bit on my brush. I'm gonna mat down my forehead, my cheeks, and my chin. Takes away any shine, but still looks fresh without that over cakey matte texture to the skin. For my lips, I'm going to slightly overline the lip with a darker pink by W7 Lip Twister in Ryoka. I'm using two lipsticks over the top of each other, which gives me a voluptuous feel to my pout. First, I'm going to use the Maybelline Colour Sensation in shade 725 Tantalising Taupe, and then I'm going to go over the top of that with the Bourjois Rouge Edition Velvet Matte Finish in Choco Pink, which gives me the shade I'm looking for. I like mixing the different lipsticks together. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't, but it's all part of the fun and trying out and seeing what colours you can come up with. The Maybelline lipstick is really nice and moisturising on my lips, but it wasn't the shade I needed. So the Bourjois Rouge Matte Cream is perfect shade in the chocolate pink but it can be a bit drying on my lips so mixing them both together um, gives me the full poutiness and shade that I'm looking for.
So there you go, that is my take on the classic Brigitte Bardot inspired look. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video today. If you have any comments at all, please leave them in the section below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And yeah, come back and see me soon. Bye now.